for companies that want to improve their customer experience levels, the first thing they should look at is the levels of engagement of their employees. There's been a significant amount of research being done that ties customer experience to employee engagement. Uh, a study came out a couple of years ago uh, that said that only about 25% of Australian employees were engaged. The rest of them were, 75% were either disengaged or actively disengaged, which meant that not only were they unhappy and unproductive in their roles, but they were spreading that to fellow employees. So what can you do to engage your employees? Dan Pink has done a significant amount of research in this area and he recommends four things. Pay, purpose, autonomy and mastery. The first one, pay. Uh, you need to be paying employees at market rates. If an employee isn't uh, or perceives that they're being paid unfairly, then uh, they're not going to be engaged in their role. I used to work for a company called Nortel, which uh, actually published market rates for every position that they had in the company and then they actively work to improve uh, or get the employees that were underneath that market rate up to, the, uh, up to the market rate and as a result they had some of the best engagement in the industry. Purpose. So give your employees a higher purpose than just coming to work for eight hours a day, five days a week. Determine why you're in business. Well, it's not just to earn a paycheck because uh, that's a consequence of what you do. So work out why you're in business and then publicise that externally and internally. When you do that, they'll care more about the, your company and it's what it's trying to achieve and as a consequence they'll care more about your customers as well. I'm doing some work at the moment with an IT help desk inside a large corporation and the reason that they're coming to work every day is to actually satisfy customer needs. Um, the manager there has got the entire team bought into a customer service ethos. Um, she's got a mantra that the customer may not always be right but the customer must always win and as a result, um, she's got some of the highest engagement levels of any, any team I've ever seen. The third one is autonomy. You need to let people um, do the job the way that they want to do it. I think we've all worked in the past for managers who are uh, micromanagers and no one likes it. So you need to let people work out how they're going to do their job, um, the technique they use, who they work with um, and when they do it. I'm working at the moment with an IT uh, web developing company and they give their employees um, a day off a month to work on their pet projects. Now that might be, um, it might be working on a, um, a web page for an outside project or it might be developing a web page for uh, the company's um, online portfolio. But either way, they're, they're improving their skills, um, they're, they're engaged with what they're doing and they love working for the company. Finally, mastery. Help your employees improve. People like to feel that they're getting better at something that matters. So understand what your employees want to get better at and then do what you can to foster that growth and improvement. I'm working with an architectural company in Adelaide right now that um, will integrates this into their reward and recognition programs by uh, conducting stay interviews with employees, understanding what their hobbies and interests are and then rewarding and recognising them through uh, for great customer service for example by providing them with guitar lessons or cooking lessons or learning to speak a foreign language, depending on what they want to do. So customer experience is heavily dependent upon employee engagement and there's four things that you can do to improve employee engagement. One, pay your staff at market rates. Two, understand your purpose and publicise that internally. Three, autonomy, let your staff do the jobs uh, in the way that they want to do them. And mastery, so help your employees um, foster their growth and improvement.